What is up everyone? My name is Abel and this is San Diego Beat Up Life. This video, I'm about to tell you what other people won't tell you when you lower your bus, especially your bay window bus, and what the manufacturers won't tell you. So let's get into it. All right, good morning YouTube. This 14 inch VW rim does not fit on this setup because it hits on this caliper right here. So, and that's with this spacer. So without the spacer, it'd be even worse. This is a wheel adapter, but I'm calling it a spacer. We do have some rims that we're gonna put on. These Cosmics right here. It's a back. But I don't have any tires. So, these are 185 14, so those aren't gonna fit. But, and these are brand new tires. Look at these, the tread on those things. But, just spare. I do have a VW Bug. And the VW Bug has 15 inch rims. These are actually off a of 911. These are authentic VW Porsche rims. And I have on here 185.65.15. So, what am I going to do? Well, as you can see, this car is not driving. There's a snail on it. Dirt on it. Wood on it. Parts on it. It runs. The engine, the engine works. But uh, front tire rubs. Missing a screw from one of the um, calipers. Need a new clutch. So... I'm gonna take these rims off, take it to a tire shop, take the tires off, put them on another on the other rims, see how they fit. And if I like it, I'm gonna order some some more, some more tires. These tires are actually brand new as well. I bought these, look at that. Got about a quarter inch of tread on there. Eh, fingernail. And uh, so yeah, so we're gonna jack this car up, take those wheels off, take it to a tire shop. And then if these tires are fit, the fit, I like the, these tires look good I'll buy two more from sip one California import parts and uh, go from there let's get it The scavenging has finished. Got both wheels off. I tell you, these are brand new tires. So, why not use them? Let's get these puppies off. Let's take them to the tire shop, get these puppies off, and transfer it over. All right, so if you have a center cap like this, it is held on by some tiny little Allen screws in the back. There's three of them. So make sure you loosen those up before you try to take off the cap here. All right, I'm just gonna put the wheel on and see how it looks. I'm gonna lower the car and uh, see how it sits. I really want to take it for a test drive to see if there's any rubbing when I turn or anything like that, but I could probably do it with no brakes. I still got brakes in the back. Dual circuit master cylinder, boom.
definitely lower. That's for sure. It's lower, all right. We're already taking this for a test run. Uh, I don't think you can see the marks, but the tire did rub on there. There's a little bit of paint, green paint from my fender right here. So it rubbed, kind of see the marks right here, the scratches. So it, these are new tires, you'll see the little rubber there, but it basically rubbed, there's some more marks here. It rubbed, um, as soon as you get in the car, it's gonna lower another half an inch probably just from your weight, your body weight. But you hit a dip and it's gonna rub. So what did I do wrong? My mistake was I used MP drop spindles and I put disc brakes on them. And when you put disc brakes, you can't go with your stock 14 inch rims. You have to upgrade. And so these are 15s in order to clear the brake caliper, which is fine. But the problem then becomes you have to, what I could have did and what could have helped is that instead of going with the wide five, which is the original pattern, I could have stayed with the five by 113, I believe it is, which comes on like the 74 and up buses. That would have saved me maybe like half an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch. It would have brought my wheel in a little bit closer and it might have helped a little bit, but not enough to clear the fender. So if you're gonna do this, go with the small five bolt pattern will help bring your rim in a little bit. Um, but I wanted to keep the stock bolt pattern because I have the 69, 68 buses, bay windows, still have the wide five bolt pattern, which I wanted to keep. But if you do that, know that it's gonna push your wheel out even farther because the drop spindles will push it out and then the spacer or the wheel adapter will push it out even further. So just be conscious of that. I could have gotten small bolt pattern and then maybe re-drilled re my rear brake drum, or I think there might be enough clearance here to add a wheel adapter um, to go from, I don't even know if they make a wheel adapter that goes from wide five down to a small five. So what I'm gonna do for the front is get a narrowed beam now. So that's the plan. All right, thanks for watching.